we're back in Suyana. Uh, you might hear some thundering in the background. I don't know if the mic will pick that up or not, but it is raining. It's bootay off here. But uh, yes, I have reintroduced lions, West African lions, to Suyana. We've got a bunch of glass. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this exhibit. I brought in residual haunts. Uh, absolutely mind-blowing, awesome lion sculpture uh, to kind of greet you as you kind of make your way past the market area. And uh, we've just got, uh, we've got so much going on. This is going to be a very, very busy a thoroughfare, especially when, the, when we get the elephants in. But without further ado, let me just kind of start showing you. We'll actually kind of make our way back over here to the entrance, kind of like when you would come into this land. So remember, when, you, when you're when you kind of coming through here, remember this used to kind of just be a little bit, um, kind of a little bit all over the place. I mean, it still is kind of all over the place, but I think the theming's better. I brought in the customs house. Uh, we've got the, uh, the guest house. We've got the bike shop. Um, this was one of my old facades from Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve that's not there anymore, but I just thought it fit the whole vibe of this uh, kind of like almost like this African street uh, than just the planters that I had there before. Um, I like kind of coming down through here, dropping like a little bit of a subtle hint, like beware of lions. And then when you make this turn, you see residual haunts, just killer, killer lion statue that kind of pulls you back that way. Um, and that's what I kind of wanted to do a little different this time. Um, you know, instead of like just when you round this corner, bam, there are lions. I wanted to kind of almost invoke a sense of exploration. Like you get up here, you see that giant statue, you see the beware of lions signs, and it almost pulls you back here and makes you want to explore. Um, and then of course here on your right hand side, which will probably be our next project. I don't know if I'll skip around, but I'm thinking our next project, this will be your, um, your elephant, uh, your African elephant yard off to the right. So that's why I kind of, I know it might bug some of you all that this path is so massive through here, but you have to figure you're going to have the lions on the left and the elephants on the right, like your two like uh, biggest ticket items you can almost have in a zoo. And uh, I just figured this would be a heavy, heavy traffic area. So didn't want to, I kind of wanted to decongest it as good as I could. So that's kind of why the path is so, so wide down through here. Um, when you, if, if you decide to come up this way, you remember there's a little road that kind of peels back to the left, but if you decide to, if you decide to come up this way, this is this area's glass, uh, kind of like glass viewing area. And one of the girlies is here right now, running off. And we've got these, uh, I found this on the workshop. I can't think off the top of my head who put this together, but lovely, lovely job on that info board for the uh, for the West African lions. Got the little statue. Um, I think this little guy needs attention or either I have a, oh, I know what. I have I have a little sprinkler down in there, probably from one of my, probably from one of my rock blueprints, but I thought that would look cool, kind of parked right there with the claws, you know, little kids could run up to. But yeah, this is kind of like my, um, my idea of, not relying on moats as much as I typically do with lion exhibits or, you know, I mean, I just, I don't really know. I don't really know if I've ever tried another way on, on bolds. One of bolds builds. I did a, uh, I did some glass viewing for the lions, but I just think this whole archway just looks so cool and it's so different from what I usually do as far as you looking into the lion area, you know? Um, then when you come out this way, I stole one of uh, Wyatt Workshop signs. Uh, Beware of lions, a light from vehicle at own risk. Uh, he built that. He, he, he found that sign and uh, used it in uh, Lost Creek in his lion area. And that's not the only thing I actually took from Wyatt. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. Um, this right here, we've got the planters. I've got a little bit of a uh, kind of like a um, elevated platform. And I just thought that this would, you know, like, look at this. Like, even if you're standing up here and you're looking down on them, you've got a really, really good view 
of kind of like the whole pride, you know, from up here. And you don't have to kind of get into that glass cave and kind of fight for viewing, you know. And uh, don't know what I'm going to put out there. We'll have something out there eventually. But for right now, I kind of have it all blocked off. And that is the end of that little area. And uh, I probably like, probably, like, I'm thinking probably my favorite view of this exhibit is probably this archway, just kind of with the lion statue up in the background, just really, really fun design. And I also wanted to make this look like it, new. Um, so you'll see I have like the little tie downs on the freshly planted trees. Wanted to make this look, because this is the newest section in Suyana, I kind of wanted to make it look like that. Like this is a just a new, fresh, open area. You know, they were able to get the donations. All the money came through. And this is like, you know, all fresh new concrete, new benches, new foliage work, you know, all the new landscaping. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I like the whole idea of not just presenting the animal, um, you know, right off the bat. So that is, uh, that is kind of why I, de I decided to kind of make it a little bit of, of an exploration, you know, like you have to kind of go find the animals, uh, find the lions. And that's what I thought was, uh, was so cool about that part. I did do a little bit of a moat right here because I didn't want to overdo it on the glass, like the big glass panes. So we did three of them. Um, and then I just figured this little pass through area is where you actually make your way, uh, back in here to go like into the, into the little cave. Um, we've got some more just kind of uh, foliage and, and path work over here. But yeah, this is the uh, one of the little separation moats that you can stand right here and kind of kind of look on to the to the pride. And then if we make our way actually into the exhibit, um, I just I kind of wanted a lot of little high and low spots, a lot of little spots for the lions to scratch on, explore. So I brought in these big giant trunks, the grass. There's Big Daddy. Um, right here, these raised platforms, you see these a lot in zoos. Um, this is exactly what Zoo Knoxville, uh, what their little raised bed platforms look like. And the lions, they're lounging around on them all the time, sleeping. I have seen these guys get up on them. I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll do it for us kind of right here while we're, while we're watching them. But they have definitely been up on those platforms and have, uh, laid down for some naps, so we'll have to see kind of one of them jumps up on it But yeah, this is kind of like your second little viewing cave over here Which the inside isn't isn't nowhere near complete But as far as the aesthetic goes for looking across the exhibit and really really getting up close with the lions I think those I think that like dual cave over there works out really really well and then of course this would be a, a really excellent spot too. They're so active right here in front of this little, in front of this window. And what I was saying earlier about taking from Wyatt, I took his backstage lion area that he built for me in Lost Creek and brought it over here to Siana. And this is just like the, you know, I figured it'd be like their little doors and this whole little thing would be their, um, their little night house area, you know, where they, where they put them up in the evening. So, and then, uh, like we said over here, we've just got the regular fencing, elevated path. And this is what I come up with. I just think this looks, if you guys remember, you can go back and look on the playlist. If you remember what the Suyana lion area used to look like, this is just leaps and freaking bounds over what we made happen before. Like that was just, Oh my gosh, that was so trash. But we, uh, you know, that's why you practice and you try to get better. And sometimes you got to come in and, and do some deleting like we did. We did some heavy, heavy deleting. And then, of course, this is your little look back kind of at the, the main little main little viewing area over there. But you guys will have to tell me what you... What do you think about this whole little area of lion mischief now? So this is basically their uh, their new paddock. I just I, I I'm happy with it. I'm just tickled with it. I I just think this is this is so much better 
than what we like provided before for them. Oh, let's see, she may come over and use the bed. Come on, honey. <laughs> come lay down. I swear to you all, I saw him using these platforms. Come on. Oh, here comes the baby. They had jumped up on these and they were all taking naps on them. Whoop. Well, she may not lay down, but oh yeah, she is. There we go. I love the little tail flicks. Look, she's like, don't come up here. He's like, come on, mom. But yeah, that's how it looks at the zoos I've been. They just give them these little raised wooden platforms that they lounge around on. You know what we need? You know what we need in Siana too that we haven't thought of in a while? We need cheetahs over here somewhere. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, I, I don't even... You know, I honestly can't even remember if I have ever designed for cheetahs before. But <clears throat> this would be a good area for it. Um, this right here, I just kind of have some construction walls up because I thought, um, let me grab a drink. Excuse me. I thought this just kind of looks like a, a nice little, some kind of little animal exhibit kind of behind the shops. Don't you all think? So for right now, we've just got the little construction walls up until uh, we decide what, what we're going to put in there. And, um, I don't know if I want to do... Uh, necessarily an exhibit right here, but I was going to see what you guys thought about maybe like a uh, an African-themed restaurant right here, maybe. Um, you know, just kind of at the turn of this lion area. And it would be neighbors to the safari tours. Um, so I was just thinking, maybe do a restaurant um, because, you know, we still don't really, we still don't really have one over here. Um... I just, because where is our nearest, you know what? It's actually all quick service except over here to Bold's Jaguar Temple Restaurant. Bold stuff always just holds up freaking well. Like her stuff from a year ago to now just, it stays killer. My stuff from a year ago just looks like dog poo. But now I'm thinking um, maybe some kind of restaurant can set here because you can see when the when the construction walls come down and everything's ready to go, this will be a pretty main little, you know, a main little walkway too. And we could have some kind of large restaurant here. Um, I don't know, could we even maybe... What about Tuskers? Have we tried? I know this restaurant, it just... <laughs> this restaurant just won't... I won't let it chill, will I? Let's see. Like I said, we could just build a brand new one, but this is kind of over here in the elephant area. Nah, looks kind of cramped. But I think it'll be I think it'll be cool. Like I said, I haven't I haven't built a custom restaurant in a good while for you all. But I think it would be a pretty, pretty happening spot. And then I do have the, uh, I do have the lanterns and stuff in as well. So a lot of this is lit. Let me show you what it looks like. Kind of in the late evening. It's got a nice little glow to it. So residual haunts, statues lit up. All of this is bright down in here as far as the info goes. I just think it, um, just cool, cool little area. Had a lot of fun building this. I, I spent, I started on this on like maybe Tuesday-ish. And just now, Sunday, what is it? Probably a little after six just got enough done to really like 
present to you all. But yeah, I don't design for the lions a lot, but I decided to bring them back to Suyana. And I think this area just came out, came out killer. Um, just a quick recap for the giraffe area. This Remember, this is what we did last. This is kind of like their new little layout. So if you haven't caught Suyana in a while, we did a lot of deleting and we are just kind of methodically making our way through and just trying to figure out what we can do better. Like what, what held up from a year, six months ago and what, what we think we can make things look like, um, look like now. And, uh, basically you've got your giraffes that we started on first. Now we have the West African lions and splitting them as far as Valley of the Kings go is going to be your elephants, which right now, remember they're housed way over here. So this is all going to go, um, this is all going to be redesigned into something else. Maybe, maybe do, I don't know what we'll do over there, but it's kind of like the, the, the African spot, the African elephants over there. I just think it's too small. Uh, may even end up doing rhinos over there. Um, could even kind of delete the little, like my little, uh, implied meerkat area right here and, um, make this the Southern white rhino area and then kind of, you know, maybe box them off with the, uh, with a lagoon and then do something else over here. Maybe, um, maybe water buffaloes and a couple, maybe other, you know, undulates or whatever. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump on out of here. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me. And just let me know what you think about the lion area and what you guys think about this Sienna revamp. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.